Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today, we are looking at a, another land vehicle and this one is called the Troop Hog, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is based on the land vehicle from Halo, except it's got a bunch of crime pots on the side and a Gatling gun on top, so you can do some lovely rescue missions when your friends inevitably go off a cliff because they forgot to load hydrogen into their ship. Yes, pressing F10 and finding the troop hog in the spawn menu. Here it is. It's 874 small blocks using none of the DLC pack items and no mods. We see a little bit of information over here. It's not very rollover friendly, but it is very tough because it's made out of heavy armor blocks. So we'll give this a thumbs up, then move all the way around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll drive it around for a bit and see how it handles. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got a bunch of spotlights sitting behind some lovely window blocks. And in the middle here, we've got this rather curious setup. We've got a camera so we're able to view at the very front, just so we make sure we don't hit into any rocks while we're driving around. But we've got two pistons, two atmospheric thrusters, and a ore detector, so you can find precious ore patches. And then just below that, we've got even more spotlights. So yes, this over here, the pistons themselves don't actually do anything. They are there for decoration. And the atmospheric thrusters are to help you slow down because this vehicle is extremely heavy and when going at high speeds it can take a while for it to come to a stop. Yes as we move all the way around the side here we're going to see our lovely wheels to drive us around and we've got some parachute hatches at the very front there just in case you go over a cliff. As we continue along we've got some ladders on the side there that we can grind up and put to good use. And we've got our wing mirrors which are steel blocks coming away from our cockpit with some red lights and a camera for you to view straight behind you. If we were to continue along, we got two crime pods on both sides, so we can carry our passengers inside here, or even use them as a quick recharge if we took damage in combat. And towards the back there, some more parachute hatches, and then tell to make sure we can always find this. And then towards the back there, plenty of spare tires, some more ladders to climb up on and get to the top of the vehicle, and one additional cryopod. To the left and the right of the cryopod, we've got once again some pistons. And coming all the way down to here, we've got some hydrogen thrusters just to help move us around at some great speeds. Some blinking red lights and two spotlights at the back there, which we can toggle on with a camera to view straight behind us. Moving all the way above here, we've got some sand blocks, with some additional decoration, and even more pistons being used as decoration as well. Got a turret on top to make sure we can go into a combat zone and stand a chance at surviving. Then all the way around to here, at the very top, we've got another camera sitting just above where we drive this with some more spotlights. If I was to come inside here, we would drive it. We've got two control seats. The left is to drive it around. The right has nothing going on with it. We've got some LCD screens with a few scripts going on, telling us our speed, our hydrogen, and our artificial horizon. Then moving across over to the passenger seat, we've got the same setup. Just turning around in here, we've got some conveyors going all the way to the back. We can see a battery in there. And there is a camera sitting on top. Just coming all the way out of here and we'll take a quick look underneath it. What we'll see is a lot of blast or edge blocks because the chassis of this thing has been very well defended. So if we were to hit a rock or say take a stray rocket, it's not going to be the end of the world for this vehicle. Yes, there is the very back for hydrogen thrusters. Just grabbing hold of my character, we're now just coming to the cockpit and we'll see what this thing has to offer, then we'll drive it around. And yes, once again, this thing is made completely out of heavy armored blocks. She's finding my grinder and walking up to it. There we go, there is the heavy armored blocks all the way around this thing. So there we go. Getting into the seat is quite difficult because we've got to get into this little slot at the side there, but it will just come all the way around over to here and get into the seat first of all. So getting into here, bring up the hut. Like I said, nothing is going on, but this is the view the passenger gets. Coming out of there and going to the opposite side. We now get into the side here. I've got a few things going on with it. Number one is to view the camera at the very bottom. We can see any kind of rocks coming up against us and we can swerve out the way to avoid damaging the vehicle. Number two is for our hydrogen thrusters at the back there to give us a nice boost going forwards. 
And number three is the hydrogen engine at the very front there, just to give you some additional power, but I've switched it off because it is a very noisy block. Number four is to view just above our control seats next to our four spotlights. There we go. Number five and number six is to view from our wing mirrors behind us. Number seven is to turn our parachute hatches on and off. And number eight is a curious block which involves a sensor and sound blocks. So coming to the control menu and finding our sensor block, we're coming to set up actions and we'll see that it will activate a time block and the speakers. If we were to find the time block inside here and see these actions, we'll see that it also has controls for these speakers. So what do these speakers do? So we'll just play this and it will create a warning sound that will go for three seconds and then stop. So this is your in combat and you need your passengers to know that you're in trouble. And then last but not least, we've got controls for our turret on and off at the top there. Tab number two, three and four is empty. So it's now time to drive this thing around. So undoing the parking brake and having our hydrogen thrusters turned off at the back. This is the speed we are getting. We are quite a slow vehicle because of our sheer weight, but it does take some time to get up to our maximum speed, which is 100 meters per second. So switching on our hydrogen thrusters and now going forwards, we're gonna get some great speed out of this. We're getting faster and faster, slowly creeping up to 100 meters per second. We are getting extremely bouncy, thanks to our thrusters propelling us along. And we are doomed to hit a tree very soon now. I think that's gonna be it. Ooh, we somehow dodging all the trees going in a straight line. That's the first time this has ever happened to me. Yes, yeah, so we can switch them off, slam on our parking brakes. Oop. And now we can come down to the ground. I don't think we did too much damage here. In fact, I don't think we did any damage whatsoever. But I don't think the tree is gonna be very happy with that encounter. So that is pretty much it for this vehicle. It's pretty self-explanatory with what's going on with it. You've got some lovely crowd pots on the side to do some rescue missions and to transport people back to your base. So yes, we have got a gyroscope on here. So if we go over a cliff, we can still control this and try to land safely. And we've got some thrusters, which I don't think is strong enough to propel us forwards into the air. No, it is not. And now we're just going to do, well, we're now going to self right because we've got gyroscope. So yes, like I said, that is pretty much it for the Troop Hog. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for it yourself. I'd recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.